Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. I have an awesome report for you today. We are fishing some backwater creeks and hidden bays targeting tarpon and snook. I was fishing with Captain Justin Napier. He's been an Insider Club member for many years, one of our earliest members, uh, now a captain, and uh, we had an absolute blast. This is a great type of fishing to do after periods with lots of rain. Those snook and tarpon are up there, and they're ready to eat. So we got out there early and uh, started fishing creeks, and the bugs were really bad. So that we got there early, the bugs were bad, but the fish were biting at just as much as the bugs were, so it was well worth it. Uh, Justin was quick to hook up, and first fish of the day was a, a little baby Goliath grouper. Grouper. Shortly after that grouper, we were going down the shoreline and we saw some uh, so, some surface activity, so decided to head that way. And this is a good example of just always keep your eyes peeled, even uh, when you're getting just torn up by bugs. You can see Justin there was swatting away at flies, but he noticed some uh, some commotion off to the side. Quick cast out there and game on. That was uh, really cool. And it turns out to be a jack, and I unfortunately did not get it on film, but it was a nice size jack. So after that, we went to a different area, and this was just a different creek mouth. And so we were fishing into the current, going up the creek, and just looking around, looking for tarpon and casting at the rollers. Our, our odds of success were so much higher if we were able to get to a, a roller oh, quickly. Right there. Yeah, that was, that's, that's good, man. It was going right there. Oh, there we are. <laughs> that was a perfect cast. Yeah, good. Good. All right, if you look closely here, you can see one roll right near the mangroves. I got a quick cast in there. Game on. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> nice That's what, oh man, just got off. Just cast on the roll. Cast on the roll. And so we continued exploring around, went through some uh, some mangrove tunnels. We were going way back in the back country, and uh, it was just a really cool experience exploring some areas that it just felt like nobody's ever even been to. And then we came across this bay that had a lot of activity. Yes, all the riffle over there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh, the poke put out again. I just wish I had more. Oop, right there, right there. Nice. Oh, man. Perfect cast. He's going straight ahead. There we go. Ah, double! Oh man, I lost mine. <laughs> Dude, that was, that was freaking awesome. <laughs> that was killer. That was just so exciting. It is. Uh, it's just fun enough, you know, hooking these tarpon in these little narrow, these little narrow bays, and the fact that we had two. So basically, what happened is I saw one roll. And I uh, got, got it right away, and then as soon as I set the hook, Justin set the hook on a different fish, and it was just total chaos. I'm actually kind of glad they got away, because it would probably would have been a total mess had uh, had they not jumped off. Oh, right there. Oh, got him. Oh, man. Yeah, I was having a hard time keeping those uh, those tarpon on the line, but so we moved to a different spot in this area was just loaded with snook and uh and it was a ton of fun and so it was basically a, a little creek coming out in uh same situation but but snook Ooh, in this yeah. case or at least for the most part and uh we were, we were casting down this narrow little canal again the really narrow canal was holding a surprisingly large amount of snook and that was a ton of fun we sat there and caught a bunch of fish Yeah, these fish weren't huge, so here's just a fast forward, but they were a bunch of them. It was basically every cast. So there's that was Justin's next cast. Uh, he just released it. Uh, my next cast took one, and it was uh, no telling how many snook were in there. They were just piled in, and it was probably because of all the runoff. You know, those snook were in there just nose up in the canal and just waiting on uh, on something, some small little bait fish to come too close, and they were pouncing. So then we shifted over to a creek and uh, hooked into something a little bit bigger. <laughs> Finally, got past the first couple jumps. Nice. Those things are so much fun. These tarpon are just an absolute blast. They are uh, they are so fun to catch, it is, and it's just thrilling up in these little narrow canals. So we kept catching a bunch of fish there. You know, got back into the snook. The snook and tarpon were basically hanging in the same area, and so we just sat there and just were casting our paddle tails up, you know, up the creek and just working them back and just picking off fish. We had one more tarpon hit, but just a lot of snook. Those snook were really aggressive and, uh, and they, were, they were in there thick. 
And so here's an example of the retrieve. So this is a paddle tail. This is the Slam Shady a three inch paddle tail uh, on, a, on a jig head. And it's keeping the rod tip low, a, a constant retrieve, and then every once in a while, give it a couple bumps. And so next we push up this really narrow creek. And now this is a spot that I, that I never would even fish before. Justin, uh, Justin found this and he's like, oh, I'm gonna take you to one of my secret spots. And, uh, and this is again, super, super narrow, very tight quarters. And it was just such a fun type of spot to fish. Oh, uh, snook. Oh. Darvin, nice. That's awesome. Whoa. Oh, man, dude, that had some hang time. <laughs> well, that was pretty cool. Oh, man. We've had a tarpon double, a snook, multiple snook doubles, and now a tarpon snook combo. So we kept going further and further up this creek. It got more narrow as we kept going. He actually found this in his bay boat, which is uh, which is shocking. He is fearless on going up these creeks, but it turns out fish were exactly where he said they'd be. Does that feel like snow? That was a tarpon, 100%. Oh, they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tarpon. See if we can keep him down. It's not hooked very good. What a cool fish. So when doing this type of fishing, very, very important is to have a good skip cast. Those, over, those uh, mangroves are overhanging a lot and so really need to get up under them. The only bad thing about this trip is that it was short. You know, this is our ride back. We were just fishing for about three and a half hours. It was constant action, just a ton of fun. And this type of fishing is, is just a good thing to do after periods with lots of rain because these predator fish will often sit up there where these runoffs, these runoff points, and, and they'll just sit in there waiting on some easy meals to come by. So they're, they're ready to eat. What we found is that, you know, our small uh, slam shady paddle tails, the white paddle tail with some, with some sparkles in it, uh, that seemed to have the best action rigged on a 3 16 ounce jig head. So that's a great lure choice if you decide to do this type of fishing. But just if, if you do, just be careful. It, it, this, can be, this can be hazardous. A lot of these creeks are really shallow. They're really narrow. So if you're not careful, you can get stuck. So after the trip, uh, Justin and I set up the camera and we, we filmed a mini course on how to how to do this fishing effectively and safely. So we cover we cover everything you need to know, uh, including the lures, how to find these types of spots that are most productive. And so this is free for all Insider Club members. I'll put a link down below for that. And if you are looking for a guide to show you the ropes, uh, the, the, call Justin. He is an excellent guide. I know a lot of members have hired him to take him out and have great things to say. I've been out with him now twice, and both times were just awesome. He's a great, great angler, just a great person. So I'll put his contact info below. But yeah, thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Hope to see you again soon.